Hello everyone, I am as always Marcin and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use lights and colors to your advantage in camera and create really dynamic images perfect for social media. As always we start from the basic panel because we need to take care of light at first. And the first move that I like to recommend is hitting the auto button. It doesn't mean we have to go with this, but it's worth checking it. For this image, I can see it doesn't suit, it doesn't really uh, define the lights in the way I want them to. So I'm not going to go with this, but you need to remember, for some images it will work, especially if uh, your image is maybe overexposed and this, uh, you can go with auto first and then do the rest of the adjustments. I'm not going to start this way, but for sure, I need to bring up some of the shadows and I need to bring up some of the blacks. It will make the image flat, but the lights will be uh, much nicer. Um, I can see all of the details much better and the shadows and blacks were too dark for this image in what I want to achieve. So then uh, when it comes to the highlights, if the image is overexposed, of course, you would be working with this. But as you can see, the highlights are not really that strong. This image was dark. So this is not something what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go up with the contrast here. So this is the first moves I do in this basic panel. And right now, I'm not going to do anything more. There's few things that change, as you can see, saturation of the sky and saturation of the person uh, gone up a lot. So we need to correct some of the things and it's the right time to build some of the atmosphere. So I'm going to hue saturation luminance adjustments and let's start from the blue color because this is the color that actually dominates here a lot. So I'm going to go with uh, some different hue for the color blue because it just match the summer um, better. So I'm going left, I'm lowering the hue for the blue but I think it's also oversaturated. I think it's too dominant. So I'm going down a lot with the saturation in this case. And it looks way better for me now because suddenly the blue background doesn't absorb the attention so much, but we can see other things. So then luminance and to make it uh, really dynamic, I'm going down with luminance for this image a lot. Remember, it doesn't mean it will suit every image, so think of each image individually, but uh, those sliders like saturation and luminance, especially when you have a lot of sky, will be quite useful no matter what you do. The next other colors of the image, I will only have oranges, reds, and maybe some yellows that I need to take care of here. So when it comes to the reds, I want to lower them because I think this uh, swimwear stand out too much. When it comes to the oranges also, I want to lower the saturation just a little bit and maybe a little bit for the yellows. And when it comes to luminance, I will increase the yellows so I can uh, bring up some of the lights on the sand here. I'm not going to go up with oranges because that will stand just too much. I might lower some of the luminance uh, for the red color though. So this is few moves. Uh, of course, if you have other colors, you might have some green colors. Uh, pay attention and play with it, but try to keep these colors natural. So when I look at the sky, it's still the sky. I didn't make it green or anything like this. So keep it real. Going back to basic panel, uh, maybe a few more things we would like to do. And uh, now I see I can go up more with the contrast. And also I want to add some more texture and clarity to this image. So um, going this way, the clarity will help the image to become more dramatic. Once we work with uh, some more sliders, we might still change the saturation values. So we might go jump 
and back to hue saturation luminance what i'm going to do here i will lower luminance even more and i will lower some more of the saturation and maybe no, i think the oranges here are okay so before we move further maybe for some final adjustments we want to make sure that the frame is right for now it's just too white uh, as you can see, the horizon is not straight and the model is too small, like we don't know where to look at. So what I would do here, I would go first to transform tool. I want to make horizon straight. What I like to do on the very bottom, you can use grid. You can maybe adjust the size of it and then you can simply rotate the image to make sure that horizon is straight. Something like this. Let's manipulate with the grid. And to me, it looks straight. So that's it. Now I'm going to change the scale. In a way, we need to uh, bring this image uh, back up a little bit more. So once it's done, I need some uh, proper uh, crop. I'm not going to scale it more, but I will go back to crop tool and I will try to define it somewhere here. So I'm going to change the frame to, I don't want it to be horizontal. It just doesn't match to this image. Uh, I believe this crop is uh, four to five. We can always change it. You can hit right. And I was, yeah, that was four to five. We can change it five to seven. So uh, depending on what you need, choose uh, what you need. I'm going to make it even smaller. Something like this. So now let's hit enter. And now it looks uh, much better. So we had reflection in the water. I didn't keep this all uh, because the truth is uh, that would be too uh, big of a perspective. Also, the model, uh, we would not be able to uh, see it very well. I believe we could even zoom this in uh, a little bit more. But uh, this image looks so much better. And once we are here, uh, we are able to actually do, uh, to actually do uh, some more uh, adjustments and now the sky doesn't really uh, look so dramatic anymore so why we will wouldn't do anything more uh, let's go back and I'm checking if I can actually darken this it, I, I went to extreme on this image but it actually works uh, on this image so just make sure you keep this in mind that on this image um, that seemed to work I want to see if any other hue would be better but I'm going too far it doesn't really work I still think maybe with this reds oranges uh, could do something more I will lower saturation on the sw swimwear and lower a little bit of the saturation on the oranges and also I will try to play with uh, the luminance. Sometimes lowering the luminance might give you some really nice and tan skin tones, but sometimes it can completely ruin them. So be careful with uh, this slider. Um, if it doesn't work, that's absolutely fine. Go back to basic and I want to work with some more light. So increasing contrast even more i really want this image to be dra dynamic and uh, dramatic so that's why i'm going so far i will be careful with clarity the more clarity i add as you can see i'm getting some unpleasant shadows on the legs so to a certain level but rest of it i would prefer to work with the contrast we'll see if i can bring up more shadows but once i brought up the contrast i also brought up more of the saturation which i'm going to lower 
and make sure the hues of the oranges are not too yellow. So I'm also going to change them a little bit more. And uh, that would be it. Uh, it's pretty uh, basic change, as you can see. Uh, I didn't want to experiment too far, didn't want to get too far and fix it on this video. I wanted to have strong effect, but also uh, wanted to know it's just uh, not too much. So you are not going to get some, some of the bad habits. Of course, I encourage you to try a little bit more uh, on your own uh, and see if uh, there is anything more uh, you could do. Always you can uh, try to use the split toning. Uh, maybe it would work, maybe it wouldn't. I like to go with the opposite colors. So for example, try blue on the shadows because we have blue sky and blue water. And we can try some warm in the highlights. It might not work, then you might choose just one color, but it's, it's worth checking it. Then you can check it opposite way. Maybe you can try with warm colors for both, uh, but don't uh, get to extremes uh, once again. So try to get it settled. Something like this. I think it does look well. I wouldn't go too far, it gets too cold, but up to saturation 10. Of course, if you like more, you can change the crop, but I think this is a pretty good result. It didn't go too far. It looks natural. The crop is on point, so pretty solid summer image. If you like to take images on your vacation, if you like to take images with your girlfriend, if you like to take images for yourself and simply want to make them look better, this is the way to do. Thank you for watching. Uh, for more information, check the links in the description. I invite you to my page if you are interested in more retouching techniques, because this is what I do on the daily basis. I'm a professional retoucher. So this tutorial was more for the hobbyists. If someone thinks of more professional career, check the links in the description and I'm going to speak to you very soon in another tutorial. Thank you.